Do y'all see that? Kaya wanted us to go in there and eat there. Do you ever go into a Jamaican restaurant and see a goat hanging in the window? What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. As y'all can see, your girl is in a new space or whatever. Yeah, up there and I got my own crib and I'm about to show y'all a tour. Period. Now, my hair looks crazy. Don't mind it. I don't know if I'm going to use this as my original intro or I'm going to use the other intro that I film. Basically, if I end up using this as my intro, long story short, I'm supposed to be going out to dinner. I'm actually running late. My reservations is for 11 o'clock. It's about to be 9. As y'all can see, I'm looking busted injured. I need to shower. We just got here. We was on the road for a while. We left New York late and everything. So, my hair would have been done. But we ended up arriving later than we thought. So I just decided to grab the camera and like come talk to y'all real quick before we start getting ready for the night's festivities. But y'all, this crib is so fire. Like, it makes me want to stay longer. And definitely when I come back to Philly, I'm going to be staying here. So let me show y'all the first room. Right? Like, look at this. This is real cute. They got our towels on the bed. The window. And it has a closet. Right? Good closet space too. Like y'all, I would really get something like this for my first crib. Like this is actually really nice. Then we have another closet right here. And then across from the bedroom right there is a bathroom. So this is how the bathroom looks. I don't like this yellow color in here, but to each its own. You know, I don't own the place. I'm just rinsing whatever, cool. But <laughs> This is how the bathroom looks. It's really cute, actually. I love the standing up showers. You come to right here, which is like the living room and the kitchen. It's open concept, so we could really cook. And I think we are planning on cooking, so we're gonna be cooking over here. Make sure y'all stay tuned for that portion of the video. Right over here is the washer and the dryer. Oh, just the dryer or whatever that is. Oh no, what is this? I don't know what that is. Yeah, I can't even open this side. And then over here is the couch, two chairs, and then the TV. So this is the sitting area. And if you come over to this door, this is our little balcony. I don't have shoes on, so I don't want to come out here. The view is not the best because we're literally kind of located in what's considered Philly's Chinatown. Then when you go in here, this is the banger. Yeah, look at this room. This room is fire look this room is super fire there's a closet right here and then another bathroom so this one looks just like the other bathroom except that it's attached to the bedroom and literally the same thing i think the other bathroom is a little bit bigger i gave y'all a tour it's a little bit rushed because i really do have to go and get ready so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a shower or matter of fact am i gonna do my hair first i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna come back to y'all either after i put my hair together together real quick or after i take a shower so i will see y'all in a little bit don't forget to like this video before you continue watching if you're not already subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button because today's vlog is going to be a banger and it's my birthday vlog so i gotta go y'all i gotta i gotta get ready because we leave so i gotta get ready Thank you. 
because she's lame and she cannot hang and I'm up by myself right now it is 308 I literally just finished filming one video and I'm happy because I bust through that video like fast and then I just finished the outro to one of my videos so two out of two we got two videos completed so far your girl is working I'm tired y'all I'm not even tired I'm thirsty they don't have no nothing I forgot the thing with B&B's is that like you kind of have to bring your own everything. I'm so not used to B&B's. I'm used to just like going to a hotel and of course my light died again. Y'all know this light has been giving me problems for so long and to be honest I was supposed to um I really was supposed to go and return it. I thought those lights was going to be able to help because the ones in my kitchen like they break. I was, about to, I was supposed to go return this light a while ago, but I have other stuff that I need to return to. And I'm like, I'm going to just do everything. I must be tired. Because it really looks like my camera is about to fall. God forbid. But um, I have some other stuff that I have to return to. And I just didn't have the time to like put it together and then take it to the post office. So that's why I have to come on a trip with this, with this light. Tomorrow we're linking up with some people that we know and I think that we're going to end up going bowling or we're going to go out to eat or we're going to do both. I'm not so sure what we're doing with, with the vibes for tomorrow is as of yet. We were planning on cooking and we're going to have like a little game night with our friends and everything. So I'm excited for that. Also, I heard that Philadelphia, not somebody told me that Philly has the world's largest mall, not the world, America's largest mall, which was a lie. The largest mall in America is Mall of America, I believe it's called. And then the second one is American Dream. I've been to American Dream. That's in New Jersey. And then the third one is out here in Philadelphia. So I think we're going to end up going there tomorrow. And I'm excited because Christmas is in a couple of days. So if I'm able to find anything for my family, to me, that is a thumbs up. I will see you guys in the morning. Good afternoon guys, it is currently 1.13 p.m. and I'm picking up the camera a little bit late but that's because for one, I went to bed super late last night. I didn't go to bed until like 4 o'clock. Then I woke back up, up around like 7.30, stayed up for about an hour. Then I went back to sleep for another hour and then I got up, I filmed the video and I literally just finished that video. And it's not really 100% finished, I have to finish the rest of it tonight. We are super hungry, I threw the sweatsuit on because i thought that we were already gonna kind of be outside by this time so the outfit that i had originally brought to wear today i'm not putting it on yet so i just threw this little two-piece set on you guys are gonna see it in one of my upcoming hauls that i recorded on this trip so look out for that video kaya just got out of the shower we were showering at the same time because you know it's two bathrooms so she's getting dressed right now and then we're gonna go outside and because we're in chinatown we decided that we wanted to try like their chinese food to see if it was good i've been to chinatown and i've driven through to chinatown in new york but i've never like gotten out and especially not tried their food but the food that we had yesterday was from like a japanese restaurant and 
it was okay it was interesting it was a little bit different um i feel like a lot of times when i go to expensive restaurants i'm really going for the aesthetic and not like to be pleased when it comes to the food like a lot of times to me the food is mediocre i've only been to one restaurant where i feel like the food was exceptional like even the next day i was eating my leftovers i brought home leftovers last night and i'm definitely not gonna eat it i'm gonna end up throwing it out because ew kaya had tried to eat hers this morning and she said it started making her stomach hurt so i'm definitely not having mine so we just decided that we're gonna go outside and see what's going on so i'll come back and talk to you guys when we're about to get our food i don't know where we're gonna get it from but we in chinatown so we gonna get it from anywhere. I hope the food tastes different. Like my expectations is for it to taste different than a, like a regular Chinese food place. And especially because I'm in another state, I really feel like it should taste different. There's a, I think this is a Chinese food place right here. That the guy was talking about? No, that I looked up some on Google. Oh. Oh, why it look like it's closed? Is it? It looked like it. It's so it's actually one. Yeah, go ahead and hit us. I stopped. Why are you playing? No games. It looks like they ready. So quick. Mm. It's open. Mm. 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 This is a real Chinese one? Mm -hmm. It don't matter to me. Alright, you wanna, no, you wanna order wanna, it to go? I wanna order it to go. So, That's yeah, what I'm yeah. talking about. Hi, Kai. Hi. Say hi. Ta ta. <laughs> oh, look at oh. the lighting. I'm sorry. Lighting. The sun. The sun is stunning right now. Yeah, we trying to find real authentic Chinatown Chinese food. Girl, what the hell is this? It looks like a spot. <laughs> uh oh. Look at the inside. Oh, they got some. Um, what do you call it? You know them. What is Chinese food called? Sweet donuts. Mm hmm. We walking towards the fashion district. Fashion district, fast clothes, shopping. I want. I'm really a massage kind of girl for real. Huh? I said I'm glad that you found your coat. Huh? I'm glad that you found your coat. Remember, you didn't know if you wanted a moose or. Uh, yeah, I think massage is really me. Like it's just bougie. You know what I hate? I hate going into like stores that I'm used to because it's like you know when you get used to something you know where everything is so when you go to a, the same store in a different place but you think you know where everything is in this store? I don't that's not that's the point what fruit wise um, what you thought weird. of everything in here is organic yeah this is it that looks nasty look egg waffle with Oreos yeah that looks nasty. Like Chinese. Pancake with egg and ham. I don't want to eat for no Chinese food that's serving <laughs> breakfast food. So y'all, let me tell y'all how we just went inside this Chinese food place, right? We walking past it. We went inside this Chinese food place and they have the meat hanging in the window. When we walk past over there, I'm going to show you guys. And I'm like, no, like I know the food is getting killed and everything, but I don't want to see it hanging in the window. Let's go across the street because I want to show them this. Let me show y'all what just shocked my appetite. Huh? How you do what? Yeah, no, I'm saying how do you eat what you eat? Like that should be Oh, how you eat it. Yeah, I'm going to show y'all this window. Look, y'all be slick with it because I got to be slick with it. <laughs> Do y'all see that? Kaya wanted us to go in there and eat there. Once I, I'm, yo, first of all, we standing in front of the store. She's talking. I'm just staring at it. I'm waiting for her to pre it. She prees and no reaction whatsoever. Oh, what? You don't want to go in there no more? No. <laughs> and then we still go in there. 
And I'm like, no, like natural. Yeah, it's natural, but I don't want to see it. Like that just shocked my whole appetite. Like, well, what the heck? Do you ever go into a Jamaican restaurant and see a goat hanging in the window? Well, that's different. No. They want you to know they got good quality meat. I don't. I don't want that good quality meat. They they got the poor duck hanging by its neck. Chicken. Wait, what's the name of that? <laughs> are we walking the right way? We're supposed to go on Arch Street. Yeah, but are we walking the right way though? I think so because now we're just gonna walk up and then yeah, cause the fashion district is right here. I just needed to come back and show that to you guys because that was crazy to me. Because it's cold. When you're cold and you want to get somewhere, and then on top of that, I'm not even used to walking. I'm cold. She's talking about why you walking so. I gotta go. It's cold. Y'all, I'm about to put this camera away because my hands are freezing. Y'all, we back home. Home. Our home away from home. We walked outside. I like, like, I didn't mind walking though, like, and seeing the place. Yeah. It was nice. But we didn't get Chinese food. <laughs> we just ordered some pizza and then we're going to watch a movie until... Until it's time for us to do what we're supposed to do. I thought we would have already been out. But I should know better when it comes to them. Nothing is going to be like super early. You know what it is too though? If it wasn't a whole parking situation, we could have went and like did something right now. We would have been outside. We would have been we out. We would have been doing our own shit and so, and then they would have been ringing on the, your phone talking about, oh, we Where's everybody at? Yeah. yeah. It's just the parking. I don't want to lose the parking. And then it's like, okay. next time we got to get the address. You remember the name of that restaurant? What was it again? The one we came, we ate at the last time. In the hood. Tasties. We got to <laughs> put the, <laughs> we got to put the B&B like over there. I mean, even though it's, <laughs> no, but far as parking, like when it's like, not in this city park. This is you know, like parking. They would probably jack the car, like try to take the car. <laughs> you come back. Oh, the only thing you got is the wheel and the axle. Okay. It's always the beginning. Anytime you hear a girl talk about a relationship, she always reflects back on the beginning. When you have to remember, when you first meet somebody, you're your best self for, for like the first three months mm -hmm. or so until stuff really starts to until you get comfortable, right? right. Cause then it's like when you start asking one question, you start having more questions, and then you start thinking, thinking about scenarios, or where was I when this happened, or how is this possible? Cause we was always together. It's like sometimes it's just good to like just leave it alone. Okay, guys. So I'm in the house by myself. Kaya just went to go get our friends or whatever. Um, I look cute because I was just trying to take some pictures, but they ended up calling and saying that they're ready So we had to like take the picture taken. We had to cut down on the picture taken real quick until She ran out, but I'm gonna be honest this trip Well, not really the trip. Yes, the trip and kind of the vlog didn't really go the way that I wanted it to go I thought we was gonna have a little bit more excitement going on I mean we did do like a little one two we didn't start cooking yet and I'm probably gonna still end up like you know putting little footage in but I kind of feel like this vlog is incomplete sometimes I do feel like that and then once I edit it everything like comes together I don't like this lip gloss color I'm gonna wipe it off in a second I don't know I feel like it's kind of incomplete like I thought more was gonna be going on in this vlog we was gonna have a lit time I mean I do have a good amount of footage I feel like but definitely going on this trip it made me realize that I had to start getting cute like your girl is cute sometimes I be coming on camera I be looking like who did it and why coming on this trip and I what I did tell myself was after my birthday like I'm always gonna look cute she wants she's staying on the phone while she walks to the car but I'm staying back because I'm about to clean up hold on I'm recording stay on the phone so yeah, this vlog definitely made me realize that I'm gonna, not this vlog, but I definitely told myself like once my birthday comes, after my birthday, I'm going to keep up with my maintenance. So y'all gonna be seeing a new and improved Kaori over the next few weeks. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm definitely excited because it's like, I'm 22 years old now, I gotta start giving grown women like, 
Period. A have to start giving grown women. I cannot wait for you guys to see my birthday pictures. I'm gonna end up inserting them somewhere in this video, but they came out so good. Like, I'm getting so many compliments, and I'm just, overall, I'm happy. Like, if you're ever, first of all, me and my best friend, we took this trip by ourselves. Let me turn that on. We took this trip with just the two of us and we had a pretty good time like even though certain things didn't go the way that we wanted it to go we still enjoyed ourselves and we're definitely coming back out here philly is a vibe like we didn't do too much we didn't really get out like how we wanted to but philly is a vibe i'm definitely coming back out here real soon so i just wanted to come and talk to y'all real quick give y'all a little one two update we're gonna see where the night takes us i don't know maybe this might even end up being the end of the video if nothing really goes on for the rest of the night then it's gonna be pointless for me to record but if this is the end of the video i love you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for tuning in and being so supportive and don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn your post notifications on like this video and leave me a comment down below i love y'all a thousand kisses to you guys. I really love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.